Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another video. So we're going to do the quick tutorial first and then I'm going to reveal the winners from last week's giveaway. So I want to show you a couple of ones I've been making. So all this is, is it's really simple. It's just inking a part of the card and then embossing it in an embossing folder. So this was a DL card that I did and I just inked the middle and this was a six by six and then I just ran some white ink over the top just to pick it up. You can see I have on this one as well but I meant to do the embossing the other way and I put put it in the folder the wrong way. Um, but I thought this time we could try like a heart or something. So again, it's a six by six. So I'm gonna use this stick and stamp mat and I'm gonna put this card on here. Just stops it moving. And then I'm gonna put the sort of heart that I've cut out, but I'll have to tape that down with some tape that I've got somewhere. Or you could just make the card bigger and then it would stick alongside onto the mat. So I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use worn lipstick and picked raspberry and these little holder things are amazing. It's like a silicon um, thing and you, it holds your pads in and then it doesn't matter how much you rub them, they don't move at all. So I have this one for the Tim Holtz um, and then I have the bigger ones. Now these will hold like the bigger ink pads. Okay, so there's them as well. So I'm going to use, so I've got one lipstick and I just keep mine in here and I've just labelled them all. So I've got one lipstick and look see you don't have to hold it or anything it just it does not move so one lipstick first so I might just sort of make it two different colors this off <sighs> oh, bits off the card there we go so I've now going to pick an embossing folder again. I'm going to go for this alt new flower bed one. And I'm basically just going to emboss it. so pretty and I think it's just something a little bit different you can see the lovely ombre colors there and then I'm 
I'm going to use the ink pad again. So I've just got this pigment ink pad, a white one. I mean, what you could even do is if you've got like a white gel pen, you could sort of, sorry, you could sort of go in. Sorry, Oscar's on a little tangent again. Yeah, if you had a white gel pen, you could go in all the little bits. So I'm going to try it with this again. And I just sort of really gently sort of rub it down. Or rub it across, whatever you want to do. Isn't that so pretty? And then I suppose if you feel like maybe he's doing this as flattened the embossing, you could just put it back through the folder, but I think it's not that bad actually. So that is another way. So I was just going to mount this on some mirror card and then put it on my card. That's so nice, I like that. I'm just going to choose a little sentiment and I'll be back. Okay, there we go. I just added a couple of little flowers, a bow and a little sentiment. I think that's really nice. So I've got another idea for one. All right, so this time, again, I've got a six by six and I've got a scrap piece of paper. And all I did was I just took a couple of circle dies and I just cut them out like that. And this is going to be my little mask. Again, I'm just going to tape the card down. And I'm going to do Broken China and Mermaid Lagoon. So I'm going to have Broken China on one and Mermaid Lagoon on the other. And let's have a look. There we go. And then I'm going to choose this pretty flowery folder. I'm going to see what this looks like. Just something a bit different and again you can go over with your white ink if you have one is pretty and then 
just decorate it however you want so really what I'm trying to say is just have an experiment with you know cutting out different things to make a stencil or like a, a mask whatever you want to do um, so there is the three that I made already so I hope you like them and we'll give it a try so I'm just gonna get the winners um, I'll tell you the winners okay so I have the winners so the international winner is Frida Kirkland so Frida if you can get in touch and give me your address and um, you can email me or just leave a comment on YouTube the email address is positivelypapercraft at gmail.com and the UK winner is Emma Burtonshaw same for you Emma so I'll send you prizes out as soon as you um, get in touch and let us know your address and whatnot um, I'll have a blog post on this so thanks again everyone I will be back again next week with more videos so take care bye for now